Hello everybody. This time I would like to model the Adidas Team Geist soccer, soccer ball. The ones who know my Modo videos, they know <clears throat> that I'm a big fan of selection sets. Unfortunately, Blender doesn't have selection sets. Blender has something called vertex groups, which is a similar functionality for uh, vertices and faces or polygons, but it doesn't work for edges. And I would like to show how to get around this. So first I select the lamp and the camera H to height and then I select this uh, cube and delete it. Now I shift A at an icosphere with a subdivision of 1 then tap to edit mode and control B to go to edge bevel and bevel this out till these vertices are on top of each other. Then Q for our uh, quick favorites, merge by distance and you see it has removed zero vertices and then I can press shift and left click in this field and now it says it has removed 40 vertices and we have a pentagon only sphere which was much harder to do in Modo and it's very easy to do here in Blender. Okay, now let's switch to orthogonal view front and then I rotate this to a about here. Let's check from the side. Yes, good. And from the top. Good. Now we need to enable this uh, icon here and this brings us to see-through or x-ray mode and we can select now polygons from the front as well as from the back, as you can see here. Otherwise it would only select the ones which uh, we can see. So I go to, sorry, no, press E to inset these polygons to about here. Then I go to the right view shift select these then shift r to repeat sorry control z only select not shift select then shift r let's try again i to inset to about here then right view, select these polygons, shift R to repeat the last command, top view and select these polygons and shift R again. And now we have uh, something far away from the ball, but we will get there, you will see. Okay, now we don't need this for the time being and I go to modifiers, add a subdivision service modifier with uh, a level of 3 and apply it. But as you know, we can only apply in object mode. Okay, now we have uh, something and 
Blender has a, a wonderful thing called transform to sphere and we can just make a perfect sphere out of this when the factor is one. Maybe you remember when I made balls I always used a background constraint in a modo. Blender has something like this also. It's called the shrink wrap modifier. Maybe I will use this one in one of the next tutorials. Okay, but let's stay here. Now we have uh, all the geometry we need. So I select this vertex in here and then shift G and this is the select similar function and we can say amount of connecting edges. Now it has selected all these vertices, then I press Ctrl plus, then 3 to go to polygon mode, then Ctrl plus again and let's see how far out we go. Maybe one more, like so. <clears throat> okay, now we can go to the materials tab, give this a new material, call it uh, black, make it black and assign it. Then I press H to hide this, then add a new material again, but first select everything and I call this new material white and make it white and press assign. And by the way, this assign button you get only in edit mode. You don't have it in object mode because in object mode you will always assign a material to the entire object. In edit mode you can assign multiple materials to the same object. Okay, now we have done this. Next I will enable the X-ray mode again and go to edge mode and select, select loops, select boundary loops. Now we have selected all the boundaries of this partial object and we can go to Edge, Mark, Sharp. Now this is my way around not having selection sets for edges. So we can just mark them as sharp and I will show you later how we can uh, select all the sharp edges. Okay, now I shift click on here go to the side view, shift click on here, go to the top view, shift click on here and now we should have all the seams. So again edge mark sharp and uh, now we can Unhide everything, unhide is Alt H and now we can have a look if this is what we expect. Yes, we have black and white color and we don't need the X-ray mode anymore. Okay, now I can select one of these edges, then Shift G 
This brings up different options than when we were in vertex mode. So depending on the mode we are in, you get different options and I can say Shift G and click on Sharpness and now we have selected all the sharp edges which we uh, assigned before. One would think that we can say select sharp edges but unfortunately this does not work. You see it selects all sorts of edges but not the ones which we made sharp. Anyway, now I can zoom in maybe here and control B to go to uh, edge bevel, shift and pull this out a little, maybe so, and make it two segments and a profile of one. Okay. Now I can switch to face mode, then press E to extrude, right click to assign the or to activate the extrude tool, then scale and shift and sh scale this in a little, like so, let's see, yeah, then control plus to select more and then I add a third material, call this seam, uh, seam and give it some, some yellowish color and assign. Okay, now we can select an edge again here, so two first, shift G, sharpness, and now we have selected all these sharp edges again, control B for bevel, shift and make sure that we do not cross any unwanted edges or areas and our ball is done. We can uh, remove the sharp edges now if you want to. I leave them in because they, they don't hurt. So tap to go to uh, object mode, then right click, shade smooth and that looks pretty good. Okay, now I add a plane, S to scale it by a factor of 22, left click and now I go to front view Grab in Z, Shift, OK. Now we can give the plane a material also, so plus, new, and I make it a dark green, like a lawn. OK. Now I press numpad zero to activate the view through the camera. Then in my uh, quick favorites, I not toggle window, full screen. Okay, now everything we do in here is as it is seen by the camera. I go to
render mode and enable the light then we see the shadow when we select the light we can say what light we want maybe an area light and then we can rotate this to get a good view like so and again I go to the output tab and make this 66% and enter and now we can render it so but first I select the cycles renderer which is the ray trace renderer I say device is GPU and here I want to have 512 samples when rendering and F12 and here we go this is the Adidas Team Geist soccer ball pretty easy to do and I think I could show some additional uh, functions of Blender That's, that was it for today thanks for watching take care and see you some other time bye bye